welcome to Gardening Friends and I'm your host Scott. Today I want to um, actually give you an update on all my vegetables I have. I've had quite a few requests for this. Um, some people want to know how this is doing and some others want to know how that is doing. So I decided to combine everything and make a video and I'm going to show all my pots. Uh, my first shout out goes to the Randall Brown Memorial Seed Lending Library. Go say hi to Dana, she's a great gal and she'll answer a lot of your questions. And also, she might even be able to lend you some seeds. And trust me, they're all heirloom seeds, vegetables, fruits, all sorts of stuff. So join her group, it's pretty cool. And uh, pretty cool and very interesting people there. So I'm there myself and uh, I try to help out once in a while. But if you need any kind of uh, uh, any big advice in, in seas of any sorts, Dana's your girl. So just go at the Randall Brown Memorial Seed Lending Library and. Uh, Ask to join the group and it shouldn't take long at all and she'll invite you right in. Okay, the second person I'd like to uh, give a shout out to there is my buddy Dave Stump. He has a channel on YouTube, uh, The Family Farmer. You should definitely check him out. And by the way, these links are all going to be in my description for, for the, the group and for Dave. These uh, links are going to be in my description, so definitely check them out. They're A-OK -okay in my book. Um, that's it for the shout-outs. So, here, let's take a look at all my updates and vegetables. This is the organic pickling cucumber that I planted four days ago. And it already doubled and tripled in size. This is the uh, hydroponic, deep water hydroponic I was working on a few days ago. I made the video. Look at them. Okay, here's an update on my tomato plants. I did a video a while back of a plant that I, I was outside and uh, I was showing you guys how to clone a tomato plant. Look at this thing. I chopped it. I chopped it right over here, along, t uh, I don't know, maybe a week, a week and a half ago. Look at this. It's just gone crazy. All the branches that I cut off, as you can see over here, they've all sprouted. All the, I mean, it's just gone crazy. And the clone itself is right here. It's taken off really good, too. So. That's been about a week or so. And, and this is a balcony tomato. Tomatoes on this thing are going to be huge. I didn't expect them to be that big. They're already two and a half inches and they're hard and green, so they're really not finished growing. But they're doing really well. Got lots of tomatoes on it. And still got tomato, uh, still got flowers on it. Lots of tomatoes. This is my husky cherry. This thing is just loaded. And it's still got flowers, believe it or not. So I'm going to be eating a lot of tomatoes. Here's another one, husky cherry. They just, they just do really wonderfully. I mean, I keep cutting them here at two feet and they just keep getting stockier and stockier. New flowers appear and uh, they're a great tomato I find for um, containers. It's perfect thing, I think. I think I like better the husky cherry than the balcony 
tomato plant. Well, can you tomato plant it seems to have about a dozen tomatoes on it, and they're growing pretty big, but nowhere near this husky cherry. It's got probably seven, probably seventy-five tomatoes on it. And here's another one. They're all doing really well. And here's another balcony tomato plant. This one's only in a one gallon pot. It's really small, but it's doing fantastic. It's got lots of big tomatoes. And uh, throughout, it's just got tomatoes all over the place. So my tomatoes are doing really, really great. And if we look at the foliage, I mean, it's just really nice and green, dark, really healthy. So healthy, a matter of fact, I have to trim them once or twice a week because I really don't want to lose control because I, I'm actually growing them inside my balcony right in front of the window as you can see. The squirrels love my tomatoes too much so uh, they're at the stage where I got to keep them inside because I'm going to start losing my tomatoes to the squirrel if I don't. So there, yeah, they're doing wonderfully. These are just little clones right here. They're just little clones I started a couple of days ago. They're a little bit limp, but they'll kind of they'll come around. They'll come around. They just need a little more time. Okay, that was my tomatoes. Okay, remember um I did a video on all the the hottest peppers in the world I planted like 10 varieties well this is one of them and that's a brain strain and look how big it is so that's one of them let me show you the others okay this is a Jamaican hot doing really well um, that was planted from seeds and I have probably a half a dozen of these I have a few of them that are given away um, but they're also doing really really well see all the foliage is really nice and green uh, it's almost due to be transplanted into a bigger pot this is garlic I planted um, two three weeks ago Look how fast it's growing. Doing really well. I have three or four pots of these. Doing really good. Okay, this is another request I had. Someone uh, once upon a time asked me how was my broccoli doing growing in the um, Southern California. Well, remember there were tiny little bitty things remember these pots with the leaves look at them now and look at that they're doing really well getting of course I had to see underneath a few days ago I had an attack of uh, aphids 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 uh, whatever the pronunciation is um, but I, I sprayed them all with uh, my mixture here with, uh, what was it, water, Tabasco, and dish soap. Boy, that, it killed all that stuff right on contact, so I really recommend that. But don't try to spray your, your young seedlings or your tender plants because it will burn them. Anyways, look, doing really well. Okay, this is my other broccoli, which was totally, totally infested with aphids. And uh, if you look at under the leaves, you see that there's like leftover stuff, but it's all just dry and there's nothing, nothing alive. It's all totally dead. And as you can see, the plant has totally perked up. 
And believe it or not, in a couple of days from making that video, they did uh, consume that whole head, but within just a few days, if I can show you, look at that. I got a nice head just coming up. So I have a feeling we're going to salvage this nice broccoli here. Look how pretty it is. It's nice, big, and straight up. It's just raring to live on. Okay, remember my cages that I made? Look at that. Oh. How cool though that that planter is. It's all in a uh, in a tube-like fenced in. Even on top. That is. I have a few of these, and this is all my radishes. And as you can see, it's probably almost ready. It's almost ready. So it's doing fantastic. And believe it or not, the leaves are just coming through all that fencing. So so I figured this week all these radishes are going to be ready. So I'm going to, I love my radishes. Okay, believe it or not, folks, this is another planter with the same chicken fence thing. And I'm actually growing zucchinis in there. And look at that, the leaves are right going through the chicken fence. So, my squirrels can't actually dig. But look at this right here, I wanted to show you this. Maybe right here, see? It's all open like this. If, if I stretch it here, there's a, it's open in the middle so the leaves can grow out. But the squirrels can't, still can't dig in, so... Okay, these are, that's a water, a gallon and a half water container that I cut. And I got a bunch of uh, growing hot peppers in here. I have a Jamaican hot, another Jamaican hot, a Buchalokia chocolate, Jamaican hot. Here's a green bell pepper. Fatali and another Fatali. Doing real good. Alright, well, here's the mystery of the day. Can anybody tell me what this is? I have about three of these and they're growing wonderfully. And I can't wait for them to get big. They also grow in a house. And uh, what I mean by getting big, they'll get three, four feet tall. The seed is as big as a grain of salt. And this was started from seed about three, four weeks ago. So can anybody tell me what this is? Okay, this is a bean that I started from seed also. I think... Um, the, uh, my cover page on my Facebook has the actual ceiling right on my cover page. So that's the bean right there. It's doing really well. It's starting to climb. But mind you folks, I started everything from seeds. So if they look small, that's okay. We're only in April. Here's something I wanted to show you guys. As you can... As you can tell, you remember my planter box? They're still there. I still haven't filled them up. I'm being lazy today. Remember, I planted my um, my cactuses. I got one here. And I got one there. Those things, uh, since I planted them, they've been thriving. I can tell they're greener, and they seem their 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 needles got longer. It's just doing wonderfully. And uh, definitely that chicken fence, I haven't had any scratching in there or nothing. And remember the vines I put all around with the leaves? It all dried up and I got myself a, a crown right around the chicken fence which holds the chicken fence right in place. It worked out really well. And here's the other one. Look at that. Worked out really well. 
Yeah, I believe these guys have grown in, in a week. <laughs> they got, I don't know. It's just, they're greener and their their needles are got actually longer, I can tell. So. Okay, and these guys, well, this week I'll definitely put something in them. Well, guys, thanks for watching. This is Gardening Friends, and I was your host. And please don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.